told me to pick up some day shifts, so I picked up some day shifts. Okay, today is my day. You're lying. No, I'm not. I'm working at four. Well, then call in sick or fucking skip. We need to talk. Talk about what, Sam? About everything else that I've done wrong that you feel the need to point out? Look, okay, I fucked up, okay? I failed. Don't right, get make it. this about you. You said everything was fine and you lied. There's nobody to call to cover now anymore. Why do you even have this job still anyway? So you can keep avoiding me? So you can be some pseudo-intellectual in the dark? I know that's not for school. Why are you even packing your books? These aren't just for cocktail conversations, Sam. Okay, I don't read them just for that reason. And just because you're incapable of comprehending that doesn't mean you need to get upset at me about this it. This isn't about the books. You failed out. Where does that leave us? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to auditions for our musical adaptation of Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie. Now we have all your headshots and resumes. Okay, when you introduce yourself, please state your name and the part you're reading for. Please be sure to choose one of our selected lines from the play to show us what you're made of. Any questions? Yeah, can I plug my phone in? Uh, yeah, I think there's an outlet by the door. But to remind you guys, we would like all phones on silent or completely off. You can all Twitter when you're big stars, okay? And make strong choices! I think all you need to do it is like five shots of Pinnacle and then like six Bay Breezes. And like, I felt so good after I threw up that I went into Joyce's pool and I did a backflip. And it was so weird, like Joyce's uncle, he thought it was really hot. He's like 40 years old, but I think we're pretty compatible. Yeah, he loves acrobats. I was homeschooled most of my life until my senior year. I guess I like that. <laughs> That's a long time to be homeschooled. Yeah, blame my mother. She wouldn't even let me go to public school for my senior year. What changed your mind? I threw a serious hissy fit. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but if I didn't, I never would have met Caleb. Is Caleb your boyfriend? Yeah. He's the only man I've ever loved. <laughs> Where is he now? Ohio State University. He left last week. He's the one of the best schools in the country for veterinary medicine. That's what he wanted to study and that's where life took him. There are some film schools out there too, but my mother said no. She said bad things happen to young women who venture far from home. That's so ironic because 